You've always wondered why more parkour videos don't focus on the travel aspect of parkour. We love to travel, eat new foods, explore new places, and make new friends. This is our attempt to help you travel and explore the world through movement. This is a parkour travel guide for parkour athletes by parkour athletes. This is City Limits. What's up, everybody? We're Creo Collective, and we're here in Boston, Massachusetts. Today is Friday, the day before the big hub jam. It's cold, it's windy. We're out here anyway at the first spot, Baby Pool. We're gonna take you on a quick tour and some training before things get hectic. And after that, we'll head out to MIT to meet up with the local hub guys and also special guests all the way from Canada, Nitro Parkour. Hey, welcome, welcome to, to the, the hub, pooches. Baby Pool is a part of Boston's Navy Yard and is a pretty short walk from the orange and green lines at North Station. If you're driving to Baby Pool, Google Maps Charlestown Navy Yard and it'll take you to the spot. If you're walking from Baby Pool to North Station, keep the water on your left and spot the Tobin Bridge. There's soft grass and water spots along the way, so allow yourself some time to play around. Once you get to North Station, decide where you want to go. If you're headed to MIT or Harvard, take the green line to Park Street. Then hop on the red line toward Alewife until you reach your stop. If you're planning on riding the subway twice, get a $5 ticket. Each trip is $2.50, so plan accordingly. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So dumb. <laughs> MIT is a great place to end a long day of training and relax with some friends. Security generally isn't an issue. The campus has a lot of cool spots and people are pretty open to parkour. Most of the good spots are in or around the Ray and Maria Stata Center, that big group of twisty metal buildings in the background. It was pretty cold that day, so after training with NPK, we decided to head to Chipotle and get a bite to eat. Hotel, we decided to get off at the Government Center stop in downtown Boston and visit Pebble Walls. Pebble Walls is on the campus of Suffolk University at the corner of Ashburton Place and Somerset Street. It's a great spot and literally a two minute walk from the Government Center. Our base of operations for the weekend was the Constitution Inn which was right next to Baby Pool. The rooms were spacious and it doubles as a YMCA, so there was a full basketball court, swimming pool, and even a sauna. There are also plenty of really solid eating options close to the hotel. The American Baker's Cafe sells sandwiches and paninis. If you're looking for something a little closer to a grocery store, check out Tedeschi Food Mart, which is right up the block. Saturday morning, day one of the Hub Jam. We're on our way to Baby Pool. See you guys there.
finished up the first spot, baby pool. We're heading to Harvard Kent, the second spot, right past this big green bridge. Saturday night, everybody heads out to the New England Sports Academy on 345 University Avenue, Westwood, Mass. It's about a half hour drive from downtown Boston, or a 45 minute train ride by commuter rail to the Route 128 stop. We interviewed Hub Free Running founder Dylan Poland to get some insight on how the gym part of this jam came about. Then we kind of were just like, yo, can we have a big event where we have everyone stay over for a weekend? And they were like, yup. And we were like, Awesome. <laughs> like no questions asked. They were just like, yes, like make it happen if you do it if you do it big and it worked out. The Nessa overnight is always a great time, but we definitely recommend bringing a sleeping bag and pillow if you plan on staying. It can get pretty cold at night. Sunday morning, we hopped on the train and took it from Route 128 to the Tufts Street stop, which is right across the street from the Quincy School. So this is day two of the jam in Boston. We wake up early in the morning in Nessa and we come to this spot, Quincy. Uh, you take the train to Tufts Medical Center, it's the orange line, and it's literally across the street, so it's really easy to get to. Um, if you're going to drive here, the address is 86 Washington Street. Um, so let's just check out the spot. It was chilly out and everybody was pretty wiped from day one, so we got our friends over at Apex Movement to lend us some footage of the spot so you guys can see what it looks like. Bro, bring it in. Thanks for watching City Limits Boston. Hope you come to this city soon, and we'll definitely see you next year at Hubbable 2014. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching the first episode of City Limits. You know, we really had a lot of fun making this, and we hope you enjoyed watching it. And we're sorry that it came out a little late. Uh, we had to put in a lot more work <laughs> on the edit than we originally anticipated, but hopefully if we keep making these We'll be able to smooth out the process a little bit and get them out to everybody faster and uh, Keep things interesting and really make this kind of a fun Regular thing that we can do Yeah, and if you guys liked what you saw, please uh, like the video share the video and uh, please leave a comment <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section about uh, what you'd like to see more of, what you like and didn't like, and please, uh, where, where, you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> where you want us to go in the future, you know, with other episodes, Nick. Again, we're just a part of the community, really. So, we're here to help you guys out, but we could also use your help as well. So, any ideas you may have, we'll definitely take them into consideration. Any places you want us to go, anything, anything you really need help with, just you can let us know, because again, we're here for you guys.